Good morning, everyone, and thank you for tuning in today. I'm Jenna Stauffer. On today's show, I'm going to be featuring two amazing artists who both have upcoming exhibits at the Gingerbread Square Gallery. Now, my first guest this morning, he is a self-taught painter who works in Maine, but he spends his time here in Key West and Greece. To give you a little background on him, along with being a painter, he's also an avid sailor and a marine captain, so he is a busy man. Now, he takes to his paintings the richness of all these experiences and he says it's just an expression of the world that he loves. Christos, thank you for being with well, me this morning. Well, thank you for having me this morning. And welcome back to Key West. It's always great to be here. <laughs> yes, and you're here because, well, number one, I know you love Key West, right? And yes, I'm absolutely. I'm sure you get inspiration as well for some I of do. your paintings. I do. And you also have your exhibit taking place right now at the Gingerbread Square Gallery. Christos, tell me about this particular exhibit? Well, the exhibit, it, it started on Saturday, uh, this past Saturday. We had the opening last evening, Monday, which was very, very well attended, very successful, and hopefully people enjoy the show. And it'll be running through the following weekend. Uh, the work will continue to be there uh, subsequent to that, but that's the period of the, of the exhibit, okay. about 10, 12 days. Okay. Now, what can we expect to see in all of the paintings, Christos? Well, as you mentioned, Joan Washburn will be there and one other artist, John Whitney and myself. And the paintings that I did this, for this show, they're all inspired from my experiences here in Key West. Mm -hmm. um, some of the paintings uh, that you'll see are done on site here in Key West. Mostly the outdoor paintings involve architecture, the old conch houses, there's a painting of the theater because I love the facade of that. Mm -hmm. um, and then there are paintings of people, uh, figurative paintings, uh, all from characters, individuals that, that caught my eye mm -hmm. just riding around on my bicycle down here in, in Key West with my camera. So uh, what you'll see are, are basically images of people and places in Key West. Now, how did you find Key West, Christos? Um, that, that was about seven years ago, my first visit to Key West. A very good friend, Michael Palmer, who's a painter, an artist, who lives here winters and in Maine, not far from where we live in Maine, um, who we've known for many, many years. Uh, invited my wife and I to come over when we were in Miami for an art show mm -hmm. and uh, we made the trip over and it was pretty much love at first sight. Mm -hmm. uh, we tried to figure out how we could be coming back so we contacted galleries while we were here and um, were fortunate enough to be invited to, to show mm -hmm. and uh, so ever, ever since then we've been coming back for not long enough <laughs> to get away from the main winters but um, mm -hmm. enough to enjoy Key West and to do some work, painting or photographing, sketching, whatever it might be. How long have you been painting? Um, I started oil painting about 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. um, I, a friend of mine who was an oil painter, an older gentleman, I used to watch him paint, but I was always involved with photography, sketching, some sort of artistic uh, endeavor. I just told him, I said, gee, I've always wanted to try that. So he said, well, why don't we? So that next day we went out, he bought paints and brushes and showed me what to do. His name was George Carpenter, a uh, very, very fine artist uh, from Maine. And I painted with him for about a year. And um, after about a year, he said, I think you're ready to go off and make your own mistakes. Just go out and paint as much as you can. So I did. And that's what I've been doing pretty much ever since. Wow. Do you have a favorite subject to paint? Um, it's to say a favorite subject it usually involves something that I love. Um, I'm one of those painters who tries to make some sort of an emotional attachment or it just happens actually and once it happens then I'm drawn to whatever it is. It could be uh, the, the sea, it could be the sky, it could be images of Key West, uh, the places in Greece that I love. Um, so it's usually uh, a place or something that I've attached to emotionally and then my painting is really just an expression of how I feel about that place. Some people write poetry, some people you know, make music from the things they love and what I do is make paintings. Well, I'm glad that you make those paintings because well, they're beautiful. Thank you. Thank what you. are you currently working on right now? Um, more figurative work. Mm -hmm. that's, that's what is primarily of interest to me. Um, I started painting outdoor landscapes 
and a lot of them were just nature, architecture. Um, but I'm fascinated with people and kind of the, the movement and energy that they evoke, or maybe if they're just sitting, mm -hmm. the kind of the, uh, the feeling that one gets from perhaps seeing someone, another human being. So right now my, my interest is primarily doing paintings of people, figurative paintings. Great. Well, I can't wait to see the finished product. Well, <laughs> I'm looking forward for you to have that opportunity. Well, hopefully right now everybody can make their way to the Gingerbread Square Gallery and check out your current exhibitions. They will be on display for about another week or, or so. And then you do have some paintings in the gallery yes. full time. Yeah, there are, the, there are new paintings that I have for this show and then there are some paintings that they've had you know, within the last few months or year and they'll all continue to be there even after even after the th exhibit. this particular exhibit. Great. Well, and thank you for being on this well, morning. Well, thank you. It was a great pleasure. <laughs> I'm going to take a quick break right now, but I'll be back right back with another artist who will be on display at the Gingerbread Square Gallery. Stay with me.